Anna's husband James has been slipping in and out of a coma for several months, yet his faithful wife stays by his bedside day and night. One night, James wakes up from coma and motions her to come closer. He says, My Anna, you have been with me through all the bad times. When I got fired, you were there to support me. When my business failed, you were there. When I got shot, you were by my side. When we lost the house, you were there for me. And now when I am on my deathbed, you are still by my side. You know what, Anna? What dear? She asks gently. James, I think you're a bad luck on me. <laughs> An engaged son asked his father for advice for a long and happy marriage. Son, Dad, you and Mom have been happily married for 40 years now. How do you do it? Father, that's easy son, when your mom and I first got married, we made a deal. She would make all the little decisions, and I would make all the big decisions. Quote, son, hey, that sounds like a good arrangement. But how do you decide what's a big decision, and what's a little decision? Father, oh, there hasn't been any big decision yet. <laughs> Bob came home early from office. He was shocked to see his wife with his friend, Tom. With heart broken he told his wife to get out of the room. Then he said angrily, Tom, what are you doing here? Tom replied, I love your wife and she loves me too. To this, Bob said, I know she loves me, not you. After a long conversation, they decided, we'll hold our guns and fire at each other and pretend to be dead, she will mourn who she loves most. So they fired. The wife heard the gunshots, and entered the room, shocked and surprised. Suddenly she started laughing loudly, rejoicing and shouting, Martin, get out of that wardrobe, these two idiots are dead. <laughs> A wife comes home from office late one night and quietly opens the door to her bedroom. From under the blanket, she sees four legs instead of just her husband's two. She reaches for a baseball bat and starts hitting the blanket as hard as she can ignoring all the screaming of the two inside the blanket. Once she's done, she goes to the kitchen to have a drink. As she enters, much to her amazement, she sees her husband there, reading a magazine. He says, Hi darling, your parents have come to visit us, so let them stay in our bedroom. <laughs> Would you say hello? Please don't forget to subscribe the channel.